Sharing us now to explain it, David Bonson, managing partner at the Bonson Group. Dear friend, David, it, it, it can't be a couple of thousand on volatile weekly unemployment claims, really? No. It can't be. I mean, just with all due respect. And you know what else it isn't? <laughs> it isn't uh, Kamala Harris. It, and, and, it, and, and it isn't, you know, all the different theories. Um, 1.3% is what the Dow is down. Do you know why the Dow can go down 1.3%? Because you and I sneezed. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't count. We've gotten spoiled. And, and we're a little deceiving on the numbers because we say 1,000 points. Yeah. That's 2% now. 1,000 yeah. points used to be, you know, the 10%. So what is happening with it? Uh, look, the Monday thing, that Yen Kerry trade deal that people are kind of bored hearing about, that was going on. You don't have the worst day in the Nikkei one day and the mm-hmm. best day in the Nikkei ever mm-hmm. two days in a row unless something is very technically broken. So they had a leverage deal that got blown up. Um, the Nasdaq's overpriced. Mm. The big tech stuff is expensive. Right. The Dow is barely down at all. Mm. And um, we've been talking about this on your radio show. Mm. Value's doing fine. Yeah. Dividends are doing fine. Dividends. Energy's doing fine. Um, Interest rates bounced back up today or the last little, little bit. A tenure got back to 4%. Mm. So it's still 70 basis points lower than it was a few months ago. But, yeah, it got to um, 366 on Monday. So it, it, the bond market's not pricing in recession, but it's pricing in slow growth. Yeah. I don't want slow growth. growth. I want good growth. Um, the profits numbers, look, profits are the mother's milk of stocks and the lifeblood of the economy. Um, profits numbers bounce around. I mean, in the aggregate... Maybe this is boring to our viewers. It's, I know it's not political, but, but in the aggregate, my impression is right now, profits are still OK. They're, they're, it's, yeah. It may not be 15 or 20 percent, but it's not minus 10 or 15. Oh, no, 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 no. They're positive. Is that fair enough? That's very fair. Yeah. Here's the problem, Larry. They priced in 13 percent profit growth next year mm. and we're trading at 21 times that number. Oh, that's so that's expensive. way overvalued. So it's just overvalued. Right. Um, first of all, I'm glad that we can talk about profits instead of politics, because every now and then with the stock market, that's kind of what you're supposed to do. Right? Well, I thought the market rallied uh, on Trump's press conference. Whoops, the press conference didn't start until the market rally was yeah, yeah. well into it. Just yeah. kidding. But, but, yeah. but there is a risk. I mean, but the politicians go into. And by the way, Trump, President Trump's tweets on Monday were a fair game mm. in a campaign. Mm. But I'm just saying the problem of blaming someone when it goes down is then they take credit when it goes up and it gets a little crazy. It's profits, it's profit expectations, and I would argue that it's priced for perfection next year in the tech sector. And anything less than perfection brings a lot of it down. So for folks, you know, average, normal, run-of-the-mill, middle-class folks, if there is such a thing, listening to this discussion, what would you advise them in the market? Look, if they're invested in the market, and I know everyone wants to talk about just buy and hold the index, and you you talk about that a lot, it's a low-cost way to do it. But I got to be honest, I think the index has become a play on tech, a play Mm. on NVIDIA, Mm. and that's a little risky. And the last time it got like this, where tech was 30, 40 percent of the market, Mm. was 2000. Mm. That didn't end well. So I do think people need to diversify and and be a little more value oriented. For us, we're dividend growth investors, but there's other ways to do it, too. I'm not only here to talk my book. Would you sell bonds and buy stocks? Soon, and not yet. Uh, You're going to get to that point because these bond yields are going to go lower. Fed's going to be cutting, and I'm just not bullish enough on the economic cut, growth. emergency cut, no, that no, kind no. of thing? It, it, no, if they did that, look out below. That would be a panic move. Last time there was an emergency cut, it was COVID. They yeah, were shutting down the country. That's right. Time so before that, it was idea. Bear Stearns going under. But the economy is definitely slowing. Definitely and, slowing. And stocks and profits will slow with it. Yeah, and that's the issue. If all of a sudden you start getting downward revisions on profit growth, yep. next year expectations in the second half of this year are revised lower, mm-hmm. then I think you will see the index coming down. Then you add to that the volatility of Israel and the election. Yep. Um, energy I'm watching because the election has a lot going on there with LNG, yep. export, crude production. That's what you want to watch if you're election focused. All right, David Bobson, thank you. Thank you, sir. Put something into it.